All right, so it is a rainy night and I've already poked in here. And that is a mess of nice wire. So, go ahead and scoop this up. Crash and glass in it, but I can sort all that out later. That's pretty hip. Oh, man, I'm gonna have some picking up to do with the magnet after this. Thought I could just scoop it up, but I think it's just gonna make more of a mess. Probably gonna have to take this thing out again because I am gonna want to get at the floor with all the metal that fell down there. So this go ahead and put inside the truck. Grab another bucket. It's over in this one. Got a bunch of cleaners, nice aluminum pot. Um, these are, I think, yeah, somewhat used. I'll separate them out at home. Let's take the whole thing for now. So, all the stuff that I pulled out of here the last couple of days. Um, I did donate and Habitat was happy to get all the cleaners and everything. All this stuff I've been through. This. Yeah, that, yeah, that was here last time. So I am gonna take All these coat things are actually nice for storing stuff and they stack not when there's a bottle on so I am gonna take all these I do have room for that pallet now I guess they're pretty much finishing up inside if they're throwing away the cleaners or the ones that they were using. These are actually good rags. bottles, more brooms, brand new ones. This, these are mostly full. So then I'll go through this stuff at home. Oh man.
cleaner solution in there. So that one doesn't have a handle, but no big deal. Or the top part of the handle. This is more hand wash. Probably gonna have to. Yeah, that was the bag I went through last time. I might have to go digging over back here. Those are nice. Start stacking that over there so I can grab it from that side. Nothing, nothing down in there. Okay. Full bottle. Another full bottle. And another full one. Clorox, that's full. I don't need the dirty rags home. These are rags I can use on the car. That's empty pretty much. That's got something in it. That's got stuff in it. That's full. Lots of graffiti remover here. That is nasty. Down in this corner. That's in bad condition. This bag I've already been through, but these are small Ziploc bags. I can take those. Nasty pack of towels. All right, so don't quite know. If I was back, I think I'm... yeah, that's not full. Okay, yeah, I've been back there. So that's it in this one. I just got to clear out everything that I found put it inside the cab since it's raining out. So I'll get all this out of the way and film the other one. All right, so back to this one. Um, some film. Try to get some of this big bulky stuff out of the way before I jump in. Wonder what 
lights on. The light's shining the right way. I need it from behind. That is something I'll take a look at later if the rain doesn't ruin it. Okay, now I guess I'll jump in. all stuff that I saw last time. This is actually all trash. Throw some of the trash out of my way. That's empty. These are some kind of game things or something. Get all this out. out on the highway it almost sounded like it was coming for me all right so that's some good wire there Clean up the floor sweepings off camera with the magnet. Just trying to get at the bigger stuff now. of those on the other side, I see. Been through, I think I've been through this. It's more of those containers, but there's a whole lot of nastiness in there too, so I don't need those. Take the umbrella though. That. That's pretty nice copper in there. All right, so I'll get at, let's see some of the bigger stuff here. Don't need the lifesavers. And then clean up the rest on my own. Cause that'll be it in here. Don't need these. So I'll bust all of these apart as well. Just do it from the outside. I don't have to stand here in this stuff the whole time. And I've been through at another time. That's all nothing. That's nothing. And that's nothing. Okay. All right, so other than cleaning up the bottom here where all the hardware fell I got pretty much all the metal in this one as well all right just to show you that I actually do
clean up off camera when I see him going to. So I think I got pretty much all of it, except for a couple little straggler pieces here. But uh, yeah, I'd say this dumpster is done. It's the next day, and this is what the back of the truck looks like. So there's not a whole lot back here, and I ended up taking that Coca-Cola palette. I can use it around the house, and then all of those uh, little carriers. But most of the stuff is here in the back of the cab. Ended up finding all these straws as well, so I'll probably donate those. But the whole back here is full and the front seat. So I need to sort through all this, make some sense of it, and I'll show you what I ended up with. So here is what I ended up with. Still in this bucket here, I need to separate all the shred material from the little bits of wire that I picked from the dot bottom of the dumpster. I did take off all of the metal from the clipboard, so I did that on about, I don't know, eight or ten of them. So most of that's going to be shred. This here, I still need to go through and clip all the ends, and it's about 25 pounds. I'm guessing about 10 pounds is this type of stuff and small transformers. But I'm fairly certain I'm going to end up with 12 to 15 pounds of wire at minimum dollar something a pound for that, so not too bad. I ended up with about 15 of these Coca-Cola trays, which I will probably keep a couple and then sell or donate the rest of them. As I was leaving and putting stuff back in the dumpster somehow, or I think I took this out and didn't realize it, but these are all paper straws and they're all full boxes, so I will donate those. Over here are all the cleaners that I found. So most of these are full or mostly full, and if I donate these to Habitat, I'll fill up all the bottles. They seem pretty desperate for cleaners and that they were a great seller for them. So if I decide not to try to sell this stuff, I will donate it as full bottles and I'm sure they'll be able to flip them really quick. They were seemed like they were in high demand for that type of stuff. But I'd say most of these bottles are going to end up being full. All of this gum away stuff, same thing. I'll donate if I don't try to sell it at a flea market. I thought about going to the flea market this weekend, but when I set up in the morning, it's supposed to be 22 degrees with a high of 38. So I don't think that's going to happen. The following week should be in the 60s again. If that hangs on to the weekend, I might just go out there and just do a blowout and sell stuff super cheap just to get rid of it and make a little bit of money doing it. Otherwise, the rest of it or all of it will get donated. Uh, I did make a huge donation just the other day just to unload a bunch of stuff. So they were happy to get that. Blood and bodily fluid cleanup kit. I didn't make sure that everything was in there, but I'll probably just give them this as it is. Then a couple of more bottles of random stuff. All of those large bottles and all of these small bottles are sanitizer. I'm not going to keep any of that. And then this here is a, a brand new bottle of urine remover. So out of that box, the only thing that I plan on keeping is this because it's got the flat wall plug on it, which I really like so that you can push um, you know, furniture and stuff up against the wall a lot closer. So I'm going to keep that one. The other ones that are in there are in pretty nasty shape, so I probably will just cut them up and recycle everything. A lot of Some of the towels that I found were actually all folded up, so clean and ready to go. Those would be good just to use in the shop, clean up grease, or, you know, whenever I'm working on cars. So I'll keep that. Anything that looked dirty, I already threw away and even started using a couple. Uh, that pallet that I mentioned, this is in great shape. I'll just stick it in the back there, and then when I do start getting rounds of wood to cut up for splitting and then to season it, I'll uh, store it on there until I split it. Ended up with about 15 of these carriers. These are really nice. They're in very good condition. So I'll, again, either flip them quick or just donate those as well. About 12 pounds of aluminum and stainless in there. So that worked out really good. And then just a little bit of shred material that I threw in a bucket that I had already started. Oh, and then all these small brooms. I've already got a bunch of them. I'll probably keep one of those and then the rest I'll do something else with. So all in all, not a bad one or two dumpsters, uh, but one dive in the same location. I'm probably going to end up hitting that place either daily or every other day until it is empty uh, or it stays empty because with them going out of business or doing whatever they're doing, I want to make sure that I'm catching whatever they're throwing out and it seems to be daily at this point in time. So anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it and I'll talk to you later.